So come over here and step into my studio, and I'm in my filtering. Uh, I'm gonna do some maximizing. This is a little bit different than the filters. It's um, it is an editor, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna maximize the clouds up to seven, eight hundred thousand percent. And so I'm gonna show you what I do, so you know there's no big mystery. Um, studying what CGI is and all, it seems like I'm doing a filtering type CGI, but what I'm doing is just really enhancing what's already there people so here we go before and after pictures you can see there's not much difference because I haven't done much <clears throat> but neither here nor there we have a double media shower coming Monday night that should be good for pictures somebody so I'm showing you just you know showing you around and what I'm, I think looks like stuff right so keep watching Focus, pay attention, because it gets interesting. You know, I think if they're going to try to mess with me so much, I might as well show the most gnarliest truth I could show. And so you would ask yourself, well, why are you showing us UFOs in the clouds and whatever these cities are, these ships are? Because this is like an inoculation. When this happens, if you're here, you're going to be scared out of your pants. And the, and, and the narration is going to be, it's all good. And they're going to show signs and wonders in the sky. They're going to try to prove to you that we were raptured by aliens. And they're the good aliens. And they're the benevolent aliens. But they're all fallen angels. The Samaritans talked about the Anunnaki. And their children, the Rephamim. The Bible talks about the giants. The watchers, the fallen angels. And so what they're doing, I believe in this, what I'm going to show you is they are practicing... They are prepared to do whatever. When I say they, it's not just the Anunnaki. It's governments working with them. It's all going to be worked out hand in hand. So, you know, that's show and tell. You guys can believe this. You can not believe this. Uh, you can turn it off right now. Thank you for the view. But I'm going to keep showing stuff that's real out there. And I'm going to tell you about Jesus. Because that's what my story is. Is like, okay, you won't be afraid of this if you got Jesus. I mean, look at the end of that ship right there, and you can see the smoke coming out of the thruster. But, you know, you might not have eyes to see that. This is like the Matrix. If you're still plugged into the Matrix, you probably don't see anything that's going on. Um, but if you're unplugged, and I've only been unplugged for two and a half years. My wife is unplugged by force because she has to see this all the time. I show it to her. And she smiles at me and says, I'm just listening. Sometimes I think, well, she's thinking I'm nuts. I'm going to go to the loony bins pretty soon. But, okay, enough of that ranting. Anyways, if you ain't got Jesus yet, I'm hoping you consider it. You know, like, uh, he did die for you. So, he's the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only one that would die for you. Buddha, all these other guys, they didn't die for nobody. Buddha looked like he ate lunch a lot, you know. So, they probably did good deeds, like I always say. But, the truth is the truth. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And there's no other way to God or God the Father but through one way. And that's the door of going to meet Jesus. Accepting what Jesus did on the cross for you. That will get you in. So what did he do? He died on the cross for your sins. Not necessarily because you deserve those sins. Because Adam, you know, Adam messed up, right? So Adam's forgiven. And uh, we want you to get forgiven because you're in a body of sin. So check this out. I'm just uh, cruising through. Having fun, looking for stuff. So, you know, today's the day of salvation, guys. You know, it can't get any more simple than that. But keep watching. And uh, remember, what's in your skies? Now that music you were listening to was Coyote Old Man. Got some good flute music. <clears throat> so, guess what? We're over here looking at this big old black orb in the clouds. And, uh, you know, I don't have to second guess nothing. I'll just show you real quick. Um, I want to go kind of fast. So watch. I got a ton of footage. Content is king on the internet. You know why you don't see me getting a lot of hits? Because I had this notice this morning saying... We're sorry, we're having technical problems. 
on viewer viewers count and we'll be fixing a little while meanwhile the views you got in the last 24 hours were real views or something like that anyway so it told me i was on the money they were robbing me we all prayed and so you know we want to see how many people are watching so we know how much stuff we got to do check this thing out in the clouds this is amazing i've caught this thing three different dozen ways but you know the little orbs are making clouds you know um it's a bluish metallic look right now, but as I filter it, it gets pretty amazing. So I'm going to zoom in on it. So I'm just showing you what I do, guys. So it's not a big mystery. It's not a big, like, well, he's faking it. And yeah, I don't know. If and all, man, this stuff is unreal looking. It's got to be fake, you know? No, I don't. This is real. The real deal. Hollyfield right here. It's not easy being cheesy on the internet like I am. Come on, guys. Anyways, you know Jesus loves you. I could talk scientific. Look at the TRBs up on top, TRAs. They almost have the nose of it, that black one on top there. Anyways, that's just me ranting. Um, I have a great imagination. And so, sanctified in God, I even see more than I used to see. And I asked the Lord, is that what is that? And he says, that's part of a ship. I said, okay, I'll show it. That's how it works around here. If I'm not sure, either Jesus talks to me or the great cloud of witnesses, which I know you guys don't even, most of them, you don't even know who they are. Half the time, I don't know who's hanging out, but, you know, we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. And the witnesses are watching us live in the last days. I mean, who would have thought you would have been watching a guy on YouTube 25 years ago showing you UFOs in the clouds and filtering it right in front of you and so you know it's real, but freaking you out? We would never thought of that. We were actually sitting on the footsteps of our buildings, bored to death in the 70s and 80s, wondering if life was ever going to change. And it did, 1985. I met Jesus. It changed. So here we go. I'm going to the next picture. Enough of that ranting. Yeah, the more I rant, the more my, vo my voice goes southern. And then I start getting tough. It goes back to the, yo, New York. Got some water. I live in my Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York, brother. So what in the world is this I'm looking at in the sky? So let me break it down for you people. This is going to go a little bit longer, but I found the Pharaoh in the sky. Look at that. Looks like Pharaoh, don't it? Talk about the Samaritans. Now look, I want you guys to study this. So I'm going to show it to you 50 different ways. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm only maximizing it right now. I'm going to save a few clips and then I'm going to go and edit it and try to make it even clearer. But what I find is amazing. Talk about cities in the skies, deception, blue beam, illusions, the false narrative. They're practicing, look at that. They're practicing holographic stuff in the sky. Man, if I ever seen a movie in the sky, that's one right there. It's like the picture of Pharaoh's face. Well, I guess uh, Anunnaki. The old Samaritan buddies out there. They're coming back. You know, people say, are the giants coming? Are the Samaritans coming? I think they're here already. But that's my opinion. I got no scientific proof, but I can show you some stuff in the clouds that's mind-blowing. So watch this.
just wait on the Lord for a few minutes. We just wait upon you, Lord. We set our mind upon you. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? For your people, Israel. There's someone bigger than me. 
there's something bigger going on. It's holy, holy. There's something bigger going on. There's someone bigger than me. There's something bigger going on. It's holy, holy. So fill me with the knowledge of God, with the knowledge of you, with the knowledge of the holy, holy. So fill me with the knowledge of God, with the knowledge of you, with the knowledge of the holy. So, Father, I pray right now for these people that the blinders come off their eyes, the chains break off of their souls, their minds, their bodies, their wills, their emotions. I break the spirit of confusion and darkness from them. And I ask you to open their eyes, give them ears to hear, call them into the kingdom right now. Let this begin a spiritual awakening for them. In Jesus' name. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne. We take our place around the throne, around the throne, around the throne. We take our place around the throne, around the throne. We take our place around the throne, around the throne, around the throne. We take our place around the throne, around the throne. We take our place around the throne, around the throne, around the throne. There's something bigger going on. He's holy, holy. There's something bigger going on. There's someone bigger than me. There's something bigger going on. He's holy, holy. So fill me with the knowledge of God, with the knowledge of you, with the knowledge of the holy. Around the throne, around the throne, we take our place around the throne, around the throne.
Now, I want to speak to some of you guys that are really anxious, having anxiety attacks about this whole planet thing. Remember, when Moses came to Pharaoh's time, he, uh, you know, he was a little anxious, too, I think. He had his brother Aaron help him, you know, and this guy split the Red Sea. So, you know, darkness came, blood came, the whole thing, the whole polar shift came. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share a couple scriptures, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. That's Jesus. Okay, let not your hearts be troubled, people. You believe in God, believe also in me, Jesus said. John was talking, you know, right in John 14. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Whatever that anxiety is, let it be known to God, people. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. So now if you're not saved, that's kind of hard. But if you are saved and you're not doing it, it's okay. Start doing it. You know? Trust in the Lord, right? So let the peace of God rule in your hearts, which also were called in one body, and be thankful. You will keep him a perfect peace whose mind has stayed on you because he, he trusts in you. So if you're starting to trust in the Lord, you'll see what I'm saying.
place around the throne, around the throne, around the throne. We take our place around the throne, around the throne, around the throne. We take our place. You know, folks, this is my job. I tell you to get ready. Accept Jesus into your heart today. Because this ain't fake. I ain't making this up to scare you. Matter of fact, there ain't no fear in Jesus Christ. But outside of Jesus, this is very scary. God, Jesus, call out on him right now in Jesus' name. Talk to you later. God bless.